the general manager of the Portland Thorns, Karina LeBlanc. How are you? Great to see you again. I'm wearing my Canada red. I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm really good. I'm really. I'm buzzing like the the whole country is. Uh, congrats on the new gig. How did you take in that clincher against Jamaica? Listen, I was losing in my mind. I had my baby in my hand. Uh, my husband was next to me. He played for our youth national teams. He was crying. It was just a beautiful moment because I think the most important thing is that, especially on the women's side, we've been fighting for something bigger than ourselves, and now the men are doing it. We are a football or a soccer nation. And my little daughter now can grow up and be like, yes, she loves the game. But most importantly, to see that moment with John, the players, our good friend Craig over there, like it's it's so powerful. And I think so many people caught on to that moment of the magnitude of it, the world's biggest game. And now we as a country are leading the way. Isn't it great, uh, Karina, that the uh, men are actually catching up to the women? I mean, it's just amazing, isn't it? Like, you know, the women have been doing this for so long. I mean, John Herman takes them over and, you know, just that whole program, building with bronze, bronze, that sustainable winning, I think, was really, really important for this team. And, you know, the development in a game, we know the women's game is growing faster than any other part of the game. So competition for Canada is getting greater. And just for them to go in and win that gold medal, I, I thought at the hardest time because it's getting harder every four years. Yeah, I mean, I think, Craig, you said it right there. Like, the women's team has been inspired on something bigger than themselves, is how do you change the game in this country? And I think part of watching yesterday, it's not that I felt like I was a part of it, but it was, like, part of the bigger vision of our country, right? Young boys, young girls, like, it does, and, and grown-ups. I mean, we were all inspired yesterday. So the development is you have to see to believe it. Now people in our country will be like, we can go to the World Cup, man, woman. It does not matter. We can do this. And I, I think that's what it was like. We can. And I think that's what I'm inspired about is that it's our country. It's not, it's not based on gender. It's the possibilities. It's the hope. It's the belief now that every Canadian can have. Dream big because World Cup is possible. And I know it means so much for you, Craig, because I saw you crying. And I want to just say I cried with you because I understand the magnitude of this moment. It does mm. not matter what gender. It does not matter what race. It is our country, and we are moving mm. forward, and it's the game that we love. Well, you mentioned very well it's our country, and we're so diverse. And you look at this Canadian men's team, uh, especially. I haven't looked closely at the women's team, but, you know, the mass majority, 95% uh, of them at least, uh, their parents are born outside of the country. This is an immigration story. This is John mm. Herman. He's an immigrant. Mm -hmm. Mm. What about John I'm Herman? Just, I like honestly all of it. Like I moved to Canada when I was eight. I was an immigrant, right? And my parents moved to this country for opportunity. I didn't even dream of playing this sport for this country, but this country gave me that opportunity. And you look at that lineup. You you look at even like at the end of like the the, the the interviews at the end, like saying thank you for letting me in as this country. It's inclusive. It's diverse. But our country is made up of so many different kinds of people. But now we all have that vision clarity of something bigger than ourselves. And sport is an avenue for that in the most beautiful way. And we see it. So, yeah, John's an immigrant. It's like it, that team. And, and because I know John so well, I knew that what he did on the woman's side, he was going to do on the men's side. Because he's about connecting people. It does not matter who you are, where you're from. He wants to connect people. He wants to make them a better version than themselves. And for him right now, he's living that. He's living what he asks and drives other people to do. And I think that's why you see him. He's like this. It's genuine. Yeah. Like he's losing his mind because in that moment, he's being present. And he's like, this is bigger than any little Jordy kid who used to fight in Newcastle to be seen. He's being seen by the world. And what a way to be seen. You know, when he took the job and when Canada was awarded the co-host of 2026 and everyone said, oh, Canada will play in the World Cup. And, you know, he very staunchly said, we got 2022 to qualify for. Everyone kind of laughed at that time because it seemed like <laughs> totally. this men's team was so far away from that, right? Are you surprised he's been able to elevate the program? There's so much talk about professionalizing this national program, but to get him to this point so quickly? Nobody who's spent time with John Herdman is surprised right now. No one. Because there's something about him as a human being. He will challenge you. Working or playing for John Herdman is not easy. But you buy into it because you know that he's going to take you where you've never been before. Like I can say this. I remember in, in 2012, we sat down and someone asked, what is your legacy, John? 
and we'd all had our medals. And he said that these women, all of them go on to do game changing things. Like it wasn't about what you do on the field. So mm. you shift that to man or woman. It doesn't matter what game. He, I knew that he was going to connect this men's team like never before. He was going to make them believe like never before. He was going to take them to places like never before. So it is mm. absolutely zero surprise to me. I mean, I have the honor of still talking to him regularly. Zero surprise to me that this is where it's going. And now we're going to potentially do back-to-back World Cups and so much more. We're moving forward, and it's led by John Herdman, just like it was on the women's side. And what I understand, there was zero animosity between any of the players about this move over to the men's program because so many of them could have been disappointed. But, you know, you talk about challenging yourself. I think John was in that position where he wanted to challenge himself as well. Yeah, you've just nailed it. Like, you know, the one of the things is that when you, you want to follow a leader who also is living his truth. And I think when he shifted, the players are obviously sad, you know, because you, you want a leader like that because you'd learn to believe in it. Bev Priestman has done a phenomenal job because, again, that's somebody who's learned from John and she's found her own way in it. But John literally was like, this is a moment where, like, I have to live my truth. And I'm going to go and I'm going to be uncomfortable and I'm going to challenge myself. And I think that's why it's easy to buy into him as a leader because he's actually living what he's challenging you to do. And that's that's what I think this country needs to understand about him. It's not everything you see he's saying, but he's living. And I think that's why Canada can be so inspired by him as our leader is because he's challenging himself. He's challenging his players, his staff. And you saw he first wanted to thank his staff. Like this is a man about connecting people to do something bigger than themselves. And he's mm-hmm. going to continue to do that. Maybe he should be prime minister. Maybe. <laughs> yes. He, he should definitely have some point. votes. Let him get through Qatar first. We can worry about the politics later. Let him get through Qatar. But we're Good very point. Bl- we're, very ready, this, you know? we're very blessed in this. We're very blessed in this country. <laughs> <laughs> this goalkeepers unit. I will continue this theme for sure. Uh, Karina, I could talk to you forever. Honestly, I love whenever we get to talk soccer. Thanks so much, and uh, best of luck with the Portland Thorns, uh, one of the leaders in NWSL. Thank you. And you know what, Craig? Congratulations, man. Like this is this is an awesome moment for GK Union, but all former players in this country. Um, just congrats. Love you.